It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And now at this time of year, at the very, very end of summer, and you know, there's not a whole lot you can do in the way of planting right now safely, but maintenance is still important. It's really important that you get out and take a look at your plants. You can still pick off detritus, clean up, you know, under leaves. Uh, study and look at your plants, check them. Now is the time of year when we're starting to see a lot of ants and ants vector bugs like mealy and aphids. And okay, looky there. We've got both. Look at that. We got mealy and we got aphids. We got bugs there. Ew, hand look up here. Ugh. Oh, look at all those bugs. Now I just looked this over the other day and I saw nothing. So we are going to take care of that today as part of our maintenance. So I don't want you to think that there's nothing you can do. You know, it is rewarding to pick off all of the dead leaves and to clean and to, you know, the spider webs, eh, I mean, you can, you can get rid of them. But remember, spiders are really important, beneficial in the garden because they do catch a lot of those aphids and mealybug. So where you can stand it, let let the spider webs run, ride if you can. I have a question. What do the mealy bugs look like? Oh, the mealy bugs, I'm sorry, they're white and sticky, kind of like cotton. They look like sticky cotton. And the, here's one. And the aphids are black. And the aphids are darker. In my garden, it looks like they're black. So yes. They will take out a plant given an opportunity. So, you know, also check your blooms. You know, I cut these off because now's the time of the year when I want my Echeveria to have as much energy as possible. I don't want the energy all going to the blooms. And also the aphids, look at that. They love the blooms. So time for these to go. All right, now as far as treating your plants, if you are home and you're gonna be around and you're fussing over them every day, you can try some approaches like, I guess the most environmentally friendly would be dish soap and water. Uh, you can try dousing them with that, but again, the water is kind of a challenge at this time of year. You don't wanna rot your plants. There's insecticidal soaps, there's neem oil, you know, there are some more organic approaches you can take. But oftentimes for me, you know, I'm only in a garden once or twice a year when I'm doing maintenance. So I, I resort to chemical treatments knowing that I'm not going to be there, you know, to keep reapplying, reapplying. So I like, I like Bear or Ortho Home Defense. This is a chemical and I use it very, very sparingly. This is not something that I apply lightly um, or often. But when I have an infestation like I have here, I want to nip it in the literal bud. So I'm being very, very selective about where I apply this product. I am not overdoing it. But this makes me feel good, you guys, knowing that I'm killing these bugs before they have a chance to kill my plants. So whichever method you choose to treat insects, just make sure that you do something. And remember to get out and look in your gardens if you are on this side of the world where it's summer, because you are going to be... you are gonna be seeing bugs. We're gonna talk about this Morganianum on another day. This is a tough, fantastic spiller for a full sun area, but I digress. This has been Laura Eubanks at her fountain in the hottest part of the year, doing some general maintenance and treating for bugs. Hope this helps you guys. Have a great day.